Welcome to episode 135 of Norse Myths, Legends, and Folk Tales. My name is My Linda Butterworth, and today we learn that by giving kindness for kindness, everyone prospers in the end, in the neighbor underground. Once on a time, there was a peasant who lived in Telemarken and had a big farm. Yet he had nothing but bad luck with his cattle and at last lost his house and holding. He had scarcely anything left, and with the little he had, he bought a bit of land that lay off to one side, far away from the city, in the wildwood in the wilderness. One day, as he was passing through his farmyard, he met a man. "'Good day, neighbor,' said the man. "'Good day,' said the peasant. "'I thought I was all alone here. Are you a neighbor of mine?' "'You can see my homestead over yonder,' said the man. "'It is not far from your own.' And there lay a farm holding such as he had never seen before, handsome and prosperous and in fine condition. Then he knew very well that this must be one of the underground people, yet he had no fear, but invited his neighbor in to drink a glass with him, and the neighbor seemed to enjoy it. Uh, listen, said the neighbor, there is one thing you must do for me as a favor. First, let me know what it is, said the peasant. You must shift your cow stable because it is in my way, was the answer he gave the peasant. No. I'll not do that, said the peasant. I put it up only this summer, and winter is coming on. What am I to do with my cattle then? Well, do as you choose, but if you do not tear it down, you will live to regret it, said the neighbor. And with that, he went his way. The peasant was surprised at this and did not know what to do. It seemed quite foolish to him to start in to tear down his stable when the long winter night was approaching. Besides, he could not count on help. One day, as he was standing in his stable, he sank through the ground. Down below in the place to which he had come, everything was unspeakably handsome. There was nothing which was not of gold or of silver. Then the man, who had called himself his neighbor, came along and bade him sit down. After a time, food was brought in on a silver platter and mead in a silver jug, and the neighbor invited him to draw up to the table and eat. The peasant did not dare to refuse and sat down at the table. But just as he was about to dip his spoon into the dish, something fell into his food from above. So he lost his appetite. Yes, yes, said the man. Now you can see why we don't like your stable. We can never eat in peace, for as soon as we sit down to a meal, dirt and straw fall down, and no matter how hungry we may be, we lose our appetites and cannot eat. But if you will do me the favor to set your stable elsewhere, you shall never grow short of pasture nor good crops, no matter how old you may grow to be. But if you won't, you shall know not but lean years all your life long. When the peasant heard that, he went right to work pulling down his stable to put it up again in another place. Yet he could not work alone, for at night when all slept, the building of the new stable went forward just as it did by day, and well he knew his neighbor was helping him. Nor did he regret it later, for he had enough of feed and corn, and his cattle waxed fat. Once there was a year of scarcity, and feed was so short that he was thinking of selling or slaughtering half his herd. But one morning, when the milkmaid went into the stable, the dog was gone, and with him all the cows and the calves. She began to cry and told the peasant. But he thought to himself that it was probably his neighbor's doing who had taken the cattle to pasture. And sure enough, so it was. For towards spring, when the woods grew green, he saw the dog come along, barking and leaping by the edge of the forest. And after him followed all the cows and calves. 
and the whole herd was so fat, it was a pleasure to look at. And here is where I end my tale for today. But I'll be back with more tales. Many more tales. Until then, my friends, enjoy the journey.